And to begin with, as a player, I sort of first went into a sports hall uh, and I started to watch a basketball game and the teacher said, do you want to join in? I had my kit with me, so it seemed natural to join in. And with being six foot 11 tall, it was obvious that was a game for me. As a coach, um, I sort of, I've gained a, a lot out of basketball and I feel I want to give something back into the sport and that's why I decided I want to take up coaching, uh, get the kids involved and hopefully bring basketball forward. I've been coached throughout the years by many different coaches uh, and these coaches have gone on to actually sort of coach England level uh, and I've sort of learnt a lot from so much of them so as a specific role model I don't really have one I class them all as role models. Uh, my inspiration has been my parents because in the early years uh, they supported me greatly while I got going as a player and hopefully things develop from there. Uh, as a player I have sort of ranged from a very beginner and I've gone on to represent my country. Uh, my main highlight has been to actually travel the world playing basketball, uh, meeting different people from different countries and you know enjoying the whole experience. Uh, as a coach, uh, I've been asked to coach at a major basketball clinic, uh, Crystal Palace, uh, by Steve Bontrager and Kevin Cable, who were the sort of the coach and the main player for Kingston who were the National League champions for several years in my playing days. One of my players actually went to a coaching clinic and was actually picked up by the Kingston team and then joined the Kingston team and played for Kingston while they were the champions. Uh, I felt without being bragging that uh, that was a great achievement and I'm really proud of that. I currently coach uh, Scunthorpe Steelers at a local level and we're hoping to sort of develop more and more kids into playing and see where it goes from there. Uh, I've picked up many tips along the way in my sort of career uh, but the top tip that I ever received was from Kevin Cable who was the coach of the Kingston team in the National League and he said that you should always concentrate on fundamentals. If you do the fundamentals well, the rest is fairly straightforward. And I think that's a great piece of advice to anybody, in any sport. One thing I believe is that you can never know it all. Uh, throughout coaching, you can always improve. And I'm always on the constant lookout for new ideas to help me get on the way. And an example of this was I attended a basketball clinic down in Northampton and the European Champions coach actually attended that session and gave a session and he was actually making notes himself from the other coaches that were there which goes to prove that you can never know it all and my advice, like I say, is to continually try to improve as a coach. Like I mentioned earlier, I have got a lot out of basketball and what really gives me great pleasure is seeing the kids enjoying themselves. I want to sort of give them the passion that I've got for the sport and hopefully lead them on to things in the future.